Golly. Where's Turtle Man at when you need him? What's up, guys? While I'm brushing out this coyote here, I'm going to show you all a little clip of when I caught him, and then uh, we're going to get into a skinning video. So, y'all check out this clip, and uh, I'm going to get her brushed out, and we'll be back with you. What's up, everybody? Checking the traps today. We got a special guest, <laughs> old Heath, running the trap line with us, and we got Chappie with us. Say hi, Bubba. <laughs> his, not, huh? his normal growl. <laughs> but uh, we're over here. Our first trap. We got a got us a coyote. Let's take a look at him. Come on, let's go look at him, Bubba. This is the second coyote that I've caught in this trap, and it's on a pipe dream set. Well, he stinks, I This is the, I think this is the fifth coyote on this property. Looks like he got pretty good hair on him too. Look at that eye. He's got a blue blind in one eye. Stay back, boy. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Good enough. I'll get a close up of him after we shoot him. That eye. That eye. We got us a little female coyote here. And a shit. There you go. Move it. There you go. I was going to show you all that eye. I got a blind eye. This one over here is good and clear. And then that one glassed over. What do you think of that, Bubba? You got good guard hairs on that one. Real good guard hairs. Don't really look like he's she's rubbed yet either. So that'll be a good one. Let's load him up, Chappy. All right, guys, we got this coyote brushed out. Um, I'm going to try this different camera angle. Uh, last time I did the the coon video, it seemed like it was kind of far away and you couldn't see it real well. So we're going to try something different here and see see how it turns out. So. I'm using my this Havlon knife again. So... On the coyote, we're gonna cut from this Achilles tendon down. There's a color change right here that you can kind of see. You couldn't see very well in that video, but this coyote is blind in one eye. Kind of neat. All right, so we're gonna follow that color change right there all the way down right below the vent and up the other leg. So I'm gonna start right here. Try not to cut that Achilles tendon. Like I said, don't be scared to stick your knife deep. Where's your gloves at, dummy? Now you're using your head. All right, now we're gonna cut this side of the vent. Right up that color change. Try not to cut that Achilles tendon. All right, now that we got our initial cut made, kind of the same way as we did on the coon, we're just gonna cut Right along this fur here. And on the coyotes, I'm probably going to tend to go do the first method that I showed you without the bar. Just because it seems to me to be a little bit easier. This is kind of the hardest part. And it's less of it if you do it this way. Versus the bar. Some people do this on the bed of their truck before they get to the gambrel, but I don't like to bend over. As you can see there, if you just grab a hold of that fur and peel it back, 
you can use your knife and go right around just like that I'm gonna go all the way down the foot the more fur see how I did that right along that foot the more fur you leave on the leg the easier it is to put them on a wire on a wire stretcher if you're using wire if you're putting them on a board it's not that big a deal daddy those aren't the gloves you normally use all right so i cut right around this foot here i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side you don't have to get all the way around there if you leave a little patch of fur on there that's not that big a deal I think I'm going to show you guys this initial cut up close with wearing the GoPro and then I'm going to put it back on the stand over there for the rest of it. So I'm just cutting right around this Achilles tendon here. Try not to cut it. I'm going to leave this heel pad of the coyote on and I'm just going to shave off a little piece of this fur here that I can put in the it gives me something to clamp the wood stretcher to or the wire stretcher sorry i put these on wire so i'm just kind of holding this almost like a pencil it's a super sharp knife you can see there i got all the way through to the other side now i'm just gonna cut right down there just like that all right so now we got this long strip of leg fur and we can pull this all the way down when we get him hung up so <clears throat> i'm gonna do the other side i'm probably not gonna do as much talking on this one i'm just gonna get it done let y'all watch seem to do a better job when I don't talk and just do it there's a hole in it there where I poked it to hang it on the gambrel that'll only be on one leg because I didn't poke a hole in both legs down that foot go just like that hang it back up now This is that same blade that I used on the raccoon and it's getting dull. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out real quick. And show you guys how to do that. You just take a pair of pliers here, pick up on the, and pull it off. Get you a new blade. I already set one out here cause I knew it wasn't gonna last. And push it in. You can push it in with your fingers if you want to or just grab a pair of pliers, push it in when you hear it click, you're good. Just like that, you got a new super sharp knife. You'll see a difference how much easier it goes now that I put that, that in there. I try to make them last as long as they will, but 
they don't last very long. I skinned one coon and did an initial cut on this guy and it's about done. You just take that hair and roll it back like that. Out of your way where you can see what you're doing. I hold this knife like a pencil. And now this knife is razor sharp, so you gotta be careful. I just poked a little tiny hole in it. That's not a big enough hole to worry about. I'm not gonna have to sew that one shut or nothing, but you gotta be careful when your knife's this sharp. Using a dull knife will give you bad habits, so. Better switch it out. All right, now we got him started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch the camera over to that stand and show you all the rest of this. So stay tuned. So just below the vent, just like we did on the coon, go about an inch down from the vent, start on the tail, go around the vent to one side and back up to your original cut, around the vent on the left and back up to your original cut. So now you can see we've got that little patch of hair there I'm going to go here just below the girl parts on this one or just below the testicles on the male and I'm going to cut right across there and cut that out and that gives me gives me that flap of skin that I can peel down on the other side so You won't need all this fur here, but uh, I always like to get as much fur on there as I can in the skinning process. And that just leaves you more to work with and more you can trim off if you need to when you go to board or wire, however you wanna do it. All right, now we can go ahead and start working this baby down. still holding. I'm just going to use my knife a little bit to get started. Alright, I'm going to take my bar, just like on the coon, right above the base of the tail, poke it through here, I'm going to pull it down. I got the tail started there. If you're using a steel, don't pull down on your handle, you'll break it. Grab the steel on both sides and pull down. Now this hole, or this, the base of the tail is still a little bit too big for the, for my tail stripper. If you grab a hold of this tail before you get it down narrow, small enough to fit in the hole, that's how you pull the tail off. That's where people have trouble. So, Ring around the tail, pull it down a little bit more, ring around it again, just like that. If you start getting a big bunch of it wadded up, just take your knife and split it a little bit more. Come on down. You could do the whole tail this way if you don't have a tail stripper. All right, now I'm pretty sure I'm down narrow enough that my tail stripper will fit in there. I'm just gonna ring around it. My tail stripper's in two pieces. It's one that I made and put one here, one here. I'm gonna pull the tail. You hear people call it a, a push-pull motion. It's push-pull if you got your hand like this, you're pushing and pulling. I turn my hand over and pull in both directions and it just, comes right out just like that. So for me, it's a pull pull motion, I guess. Take your zip. Don't forget to zip the tail out. Don't take just a few seconds to zip that tail all the way down. 
From here, if you don't have a skin machine, you're gonna roll your fur up, pull down, roll your fur up, put your knuckles right against the hide and push down. It works just fine. Pull down, roll it up, pull down. Coyotes aren't near as hard to skin as everybody makes them out to be. I mean, they're tough. They're one of the tougher animals, but they're not nothing to be scared of. You can do it just fine. You don't have to have a skin machine. It makes it nice and easier, quicker if you got one, but if you don't, it ain't that big deal. You can see just in a matter of seconds, I've got him skint all the way down to the front legs. And this is where it starts getting tough if you don't have a skin machine. See there? I've got him all the way. If you don't have a skin machine, go ahead and cut them left front legs off right below the elbow. Get them out of your way. I'm gonna go ahead and put him on my skin machine now. I got a little kitty litter down here on the floor to uh, help the blood and stuff. Coyotes are pretty bloody and that kitty litter picks them up pretty good. It makes that blood where you can sweep it up and don't get your floor real super nasty. Alright, I got him clamped in my skin machine. If you're not sure where to cut with your knife, err on the side of caution and cut high. Normally, even if you cut high, you'll get some slack. Like right here, I can tell that I need to cut down in here. But if I didn't know that and I go a little bit higher, it still, it still gives some slack. Even up in here, if I was to cut right in there, I'm getting some extra slack. You gotta be really careful on this part. The inside of those legs on the coyote is really thin and it will cut a hole in them pretty easy. So I'm just taking my time. Don't get in a hurry and punch a hole in your pelt. You've come this far and put all the time and effort into getting your you don't want to punch a hole in it and then all your time is wasted. Take my bar right in there. Just like that, poke through. When it pokes through easy, you know you did it right. Now just pull down, just like that. Do the same thing over here, poke through easy. And then you can just like you did on the tail. Pulling in both directions. Once you get down below that elbow, that's far enough. I like to give, you know, some people cut them off right here. I like to get a little bit more just to give me something to work with. We can cut it off in the boarding process. Just take my knife, go right around that. That leg's free. Go ahead and pull it on out. Go around this one. Bring this one. Just like that. I can see now this is part of the ear and this part of the ear kind of makes a circle right there but right in his head. I haven't been putting any pressure on my knife. I'm just barely, barely doing it. Now I'm going to put some pressure out here and cut that ear loose. Just like that. You see that ear? 
All right, now this side, you can see that ear's right there. That's that little circle I was telling you about. Take your knife, put some pressure, and just cut it, cut it across. All right, now we got both ears out. Already got the guns out now. Come around over here. Try to make these guns. There they are right there. I'm gonna stick my finger in there, cut it down. Same with the coon, we want to get as much of that cartilage out of there as we can so that it sits down on our stretcher real good. bottom lip will just go ahead and pull off but I'm just gonna cut it right there. That's the end of it. Take it out of my clamps there. Set that bucket down there to catch some more of that blood. Alright guys I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching my videos. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, we'll see y'all on the next video.